Hello, Hofstra. I'm Frankie O'Brien, a junior on the Hofstra field hockey team, and I'm joined by Gabby St. Leger. Gabby, what is your role here at Hofstra? I am the Dean of Students and Assistant Vice President for Student Affairs. Awesome. And um, this week is NCAA Diversity Week. And with that being said, I have a few questions here for Gabby. Gabby, what does diversity and inclusion mean to you? I think it's such a critical part of any organization, let alone any college or university. Uh, I think nowadays when we look at society and how small we've become because of technology and just our histories and our cultures and our backgrounds, we're mixing and blending and molding together in um, different ways that we did in the past. So for me, diversity and inclusion is an opportunity for us to learn about people who have had different experiences than us and also not only just to learn about it, but to see the interconnection. So that's the diversity part and then also the inclusion to work that into our own understanding of life, of people, of culture, of behaviors. So it's not just tolerating, it's actually embracing. Absolutely, and what makes Hofstra so diverse? Uh, I, I mean, we're diverse from our faculty, our students. Um, people come from so many different walks of life, let it, whether it be international um, walks of life with all of our um, different international students that are here. We have folks even in Long Island, when we think about um, the diversity of what makes up Long Island and our tri-state area, which is a good number of our, our students who are here at Hofstra. But uh, other piece that I think that makes Hofstra diverse is also the diversity of thought. When we look at all the different um, all the different faculty and what they've learned and what they've specialized in and what they bring to the classroom. Um, when you mix the cultures and you mix the ethnicities and you mix the faiths, all trying to learn the same topics, um, it makes Hofstra diverse. You can't even ignore it um, as we interact and we mingle in the classroom and outside of the classroom. And why is diversity so important on college campuses, especially at Hofstra? I think I touched on it a little bit with the last question, but specifically at Hofstra, we are in New York. New York, they say people come to New York um, to rehearse for the rest of the world. Like <laughs> everything happens here first. And we're, we're just a, a throws away from the city where that's what most people are talking about. But again, in Long Island, there's a diverse history, there's a diverse culture, and Hofstra is the largest private institution on Long Island. So I think we have a obligation, being that we are private liberal arts and we have a diversity of curriculum, diversity of teachers and, and programs academically and also outside the classroom in my world mm -hmm. that we provide students. Hofstra definitely needs to exemplify as a 21st century institution, diversity and inclusion as a major piece of what we do. Most definitely. And what are some ways that we as college students can become more inclusive every day, especially as student athletes? I was a student athlete. Yes, I was um, Division I at West Virginia University. And I think because when you look at what makes up a team, you have a common ground. You know, you're field hockey. So everybody's like wanting to win. Um, I don't know much about field hockey myself because I wasn't track, but there are certain things when you look at our sports when you participate in the sports. You have this common ground, and from there, student athletes can be amazing ambassadors on how to move beyond the common and learn about each other and care about each other on a deeper level as teammates and to really be the ambassadors for other students to know how to really model understanding differences, embracing change, embracing different cultures um, through that common ground of the sport that you play. I think you all can serve as great examples. That's awesome. What activities and initiatives does Hofstra have in place to promote inclusion? Well, we have a couple of things. Um, the No Hate Campaign is something that started before I got here, and I arrived January um, 2019, but it was a student-led initiative from some of our student uh, leaders at the time who are now alums, who really saw during a time of the nation being in turmoil and a lot of polarizing experiences happening, um, to create a no hate campaign, which is an umbrella of um, programs that can happen either in a series events, series of events or one-offs. And I, I really appreciate the fact that we've made it so general that when something comes up and it's very responsive um, to what's happening in the pulse of what's happening on campus, 
how what's on what's happening in the world and in the nation is affecting our campus and our campus members um, for us to gather really quick and um, to create programs and discussions and dialogue around those current event issues that have to do with diversity inclusion and social justice um, we have the office of international excuse me Yes, we have the Office of International Student Affairs, which is under the Division of Student Affairs. I'll start there since that's what came out first. And that's an office that helps our international students integrate, make sure their T's are crossed, their I's are dotted, to, so that they can be here on campus and fully engage. And then we have Intercultural Engagement and Inclusion, where um, our Associate Director and Director of Intercultural Engagement and Incl Inclusion, Jill Atkinson, runs um, the gamut with our student organizations, whether it's faith-based, whether it's culturally identity, um, ethnic cultures, LGBTQ plus um, student organizations. She kind of leads the way. And those students, love Hasha students, usually are the ones planning the programs, but that's the support of um, that office to help the student leaders really plan out um, different activities, different discussions that we have for our students on campus, for everyone to participate in. We bring in lectures, we bring in experts from the community to really talk about specific cultural aspects that you might not know in a nice, comfortable, inviting, safe um, way of um, really getting to know things you might not be comfortable with or on a regular basis or aspects that aren't a part of your culture, but you might wanna know. So we've got tons of things happening, usually Wednesday during our free hour, but our common hour, but also um, evening programs. They program a ton um, for our students and really engage our faculty experts as well on campus as well as off campus experts. Well, awesome. Thank you very much, Gabby. This was Diversity and Inclusion Week. Thank you so much for speaking with us, Gabby. Thank you.